Cycle optimization is really the power behind field service lightning. So I want to say there's like 6 million to the 30 second power possible combinations that it will calculate for you, route combinations. And that's all dependent on the number of service resources and appointments that you have in place. Ultimately, so you can provide the the highest utilization and the lowest travel time between your resources. And all of these uh, will look for either a time slot, what's the best time or the next time that we can schedule someone or a person. So who is the ideal candidate that we can schedule someone on or that emergency action. So on here, just to give you a quick rundown, we've got our different, um, different territories here and then our resources underneath the territories. Uh, these colors are indicating different statuses. So green is complete, pink is in progress, blue is dispatched, meaning that that job has been sent to the um, resource. So Aaron knows that he's got these two jobs up in his queue that he has to complete. And then yellow is just is saying that it's scheduled. So Jenny Campo will say that they came through and they completed the appointment. But you can see it changed our color. It went ahead and dispatched these next two uh, jobs to Ginny, and then it should start running uh, because the scheduling recipe that's in place. So if you remember that recipe that I have in place, if a job finishes sooner than what it is scheduled for, I think by 10 minutes or over a 10 minute lap, it's going to optimize her schedule. And this is an example of just a single resource optimization. So this shows us our progress, what's going on. So you can see that it's starting to move some items around. And it looks like it probably scheduled some items for us on the next day as well. Okay, so it did, so it filled out these calendars. If you saw my to-do list, it got a lot shorter. You can take a look at the, the, uh, the map and see our appointments. Uh, the colors indicate their status, like on the map. So this one is done. Um, we can see our different territories here. We can add layers, so like a warehouse layer. We could see that we have a warehouse right here in downtown Portland. Lots of features we could put on this map.